Hi, I'm Heather Ajay with Connections Wellness Group. I am a licensed professional counselor and a clinical liaison here at Connection. Thank you for tuning in to Mental Health Connection. Today, I would like to talk about boundaries. So boundaries are something that is there to protect us physically, mentally, or emotionally. In terms of emotional or mental boundaries, those are gonna be what we're focusing on today. Boundaries are something that helps us define ourselves from another person, and it helps us allow ourselves to look within to figure out, okay, what am I comfortable with? What am I not? What am I going to allow to happen to me or someone to say to me, and what am I not? Where does that boundary have a line that I'm not willing for it to cross? And that's what we're gonna focus on today. So oftentimes, boundaries are very difficult to put in place. This is because as humans, a lot of us wanna make sure that we are pleasing the people we care about, we're not letting them down, we don't wanna tell them no. In fact, we might even worry that our relationship could end or be in jeopardy by saying no to that person. So I'd like to take a moment here and say, it, this is a good time for you to check in with yourself, to really look at your relationships and figure out what am I putting into this relationship and what am I getting back? Where am I uncomfortable? Where am I not speaking up for myself? Where do I need to implement boundaries? How do you know that you would need to implement boundaries? Some signs that may be a time for you to implement those boundaries would be, do you ever find yourself feeling kind of all consumed by something? This could be work, it could be a relationship. Do you find yourself feeling like you're treading on water or walking on eggshells? You're kind of in over your head or you're afraid to speak up for yourself. Um, you might really struggle if you find yourself feeling like you have so much to do that you don't even know where to begin. These are all signs you may need to implement some boundaries. For today's purpose, I'm just gonna help you with some tips on how to set healthy boundaries for you. So again, in terms of our mental and emotional well-being, we want to make sure that we're focusing on ourselves and how we feel and how we respond to things because that is what boundaries are. It helps us determine, again, our own emotional reactions to things. So we are the only person responsible for that. Someone on the outside is not responsible for how we think, how we feel, or how we respond. Just as we are not responsible for how someone else feels, thinks, or responds. Again, the responsibility lies on us. And that includes honoring our own boundaries. Tips on setting boundaries. Number one, if you are someone who has not set boundaries before or you're not the greatest, you're not alone. One thing I would like to make sure that you know, once you start implementing boundaries, it can be very uncomfortable. Again, you might be worried that someone will be angry or upset. You might hinder or end a relationship. This is not always the case. However, so if you've never said no to someone before and you start saying it, they may not know how to respond. That's not necessarily a bad thing. They just need to get to know how you are trying to implement changes in your life. And hopefully, if they're a good friend or a close relationship, they'll understand your boundaries. Another tip for setting boundaries is to be clear. So you always wanna make sure that whatever it is that you're comfortable with is something that you can clearly communicate to them. For example, you might say, I'm not comfortable with that. I have a family obligation this weekend. I'm not gonna be able to do that for you. I will say though, you really can just say no. You don't have to always offer an explanation. You have the right to say no to anything that you don't want to do. Another tip for this would be to not set a boundary that you're not gonna be able to enforce. Oftentimes this happens in parenting. So you might say, well, if you don't do this, we're not gonna go to the park today, but you already know you're gonna go to the park because you have two other kids that need to go. The more that you can stay firm in the boundary you set, the more serious that other people are gonna take you and know to honor your own boundary. So again, making sure you can set boundaries that you can actually follow through with. Another tip I have for you is to make sure that you are being honest with yourself and making sure that you're checking in with you and clearly communicating your feelings. Again, I wanna make sure that you are not doing something you're not comfortable with and you're not saying yes to things that really take away from you. One thing that I would suggest is really putting your energy into something that gives you life, it makes you happy, you feel free, and saying no to things that make you feel overwhelmed, they make you more tired or exhausted or even put you in a bad mood. I always say when we say yes to something, we're saying no to something else. So making sure that you're saying yes to the things that matter to you. 
I hope you have found these tips helpful. Um, I think boundaries are something we all need to put in place. And again, they're always gonna be something that needs work and always something that will need to be tweaked. The more you put boundaries into place, the more you'll be able to determine how flexible and how rigid you need to be. Thank you for taking the time to watch our mental health connection.